Not quite a Preco projector, I like to refer to the $600 Nebula Mars as a home theater in a lunchbox. On top of being able to project an image up to around 150 inches, it has dual JBL 10 watt speakers built into its chassis, as well as a rechargeable battery that delivers up to three hours of projection time. Those speakers don't sound great, but they do sound much better and play much louder than the tiny speaker built into your typical Pico projector. While you can project a 150 inch image, you're going to get a much better picture projecting in the 55 to 75 inch range. Rated at 3000 lumens, the projector is fairly bright, particularly for a projector of its size, but you'll still want to project in a dark room so the image doesn't get washed out. The projector has a native resolution of 1280 by 800 or 800p, and the images I projected were fairly sharp, though there was a little bit of softness that made you feel like you're watching something in between a DVD and a Blu-ray. What's cool about the projector is that there are a number of ways to get video to run through it. It's powered by an Android-based operating system and has built-in Wi-Fi, so you can stream content right from the projector via apps like Netflix and YouTube. Another option is to plug a video source, such as an Amazon Fire TV stick, Google Chromecast, or Apple TV into the HDMI port and stream content that way. You can also play a video file from a USB thumb drive, and of course, a laptop is always an option. I thought the picture was a little soft using the internal Netflix app, but I had better luck running video directly from a USB stick or my iPhone using an HDMI adapter cable. The projector software is upgradable and I expect to see some tweaks going forward that offer some small improvements, but overall we were pretty impressed with this portable home cinema. It's got a lot to like about it, although I'd like to see it cost about $100 less.